Good afternoon, friends. I was just watching a haul video on YouTube, a haul video as we call them, and I realized it's really fun to watch what uh, videos of what other people bought to resell, so I thought I would whip, whip one up. And I apologize if it's a little bit dodgy. My real um, tripod seems to be buried in my shipping box closet in a way that I can't deal with at the moment. <laughs> anyway, I went to an estate sale last weekend and it was the end of the day and for them at 2 p.m. and everything was half price to start with and also they wanted to get out of there. So I just put together a little box in like the 15 minutes that I had there um, as they were starting to pack up and they gave it all to me for $15, which was pretty cool. So I'll show you what I got for that $15. First of all, obviously this uh, 1980s Fisher Price Little People seaplane. And these seem to sell, you know, 10, 12 bucks on eBay. So not bad, not that exciting. Um, I also got this Trafari signed uh, rhinestone pin and it's really quite nice like deco style rhinestones um, it is signed right there on the stem on the back and upon closer inspection I did notice that it is missing a couple where are you a couple teeny tiny rhinestones and so I might dig through my box of jewelry junk and see if I can find some or even maybe go to the craft store and pick up some to glue in because I think it will sell better if it's complete and that could sell for between 30 and 40 dollars pretty conservatively okay some of the stuff's kind of weird and junky but this is a make it and bake it stained glass kit of a cardinal. I'm going to try to shake it around so it's, you can see it better. These were really popular in the 80s, early 80s. Um, yet another fun toxic craft for kids probably. Um, you take these little crystals and you put them between the so-called lead. I hope it's not actually lead. And then you put it in the oven and bake it and it makes like a sun catcher kind of thing. There's a little um, suction cup to attach it to your window. They came in all these fun designs. I did these when I was a kid. Um, oh look, they are made locally to Boston. I didn't know that. So anyway, here's one new in package. I should get like, you know, 10, 12 bucks for that. Somebody's gonna have fun. So again, this stuff is like the dregs of this estate sale. So not that super exciting. Here's a book, 1960s. Um, Power Boys Adventure. This is along the lines of the Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew and all that, one of those series. But it's, um, it's from the 60s. It's in good shape, has a nice cover. So hopefully I can get, again, $10, $10 for this maybe. Maybe more, 12. <laughs> um, and then this is a little weird, but I just picked up and threw in my bag this pile of uh, vintage fabric scraps and I will definitely use these for some wacky project or um, I may just put them in a pile to collect with other small pieces of vintage fabrics and sell on a lot. Vintage fabrics um, do really well I think on eBay but these pieces are quite small and kind of cut up so I wouldn't count this as a whole lot by itself I don't think or try to sell it as one. It's kind of funny this is like I think a fabric sample of some horrible sort of 60s fabric and it has the USS Constitution on it. All the wallpaper in there in the estate sale house was kind of like this. It was fabulous. Um, so then I picked up this 78. This is not actually a 78 sleeve, but um, this is just a John Philip Sousa March record. This is a Washington Post March backed by the El Capitan March. 
nice patriotic songs and um, it's on a Batwing Victor. Couldn't find a super reliable comp price on this, but I mean, 10 bucks at the worst and maybe up to 20 or 30. Um, this is actually a pretty old record. It's probably from the 20s, maybe 30s. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a uh, record dating geek. <laughs> and then I have another one. This is, um, oh, I need to clean this one, but it's um, Swing Low Sweet Chariot backed by Steal Away, which I don't actually know. But these are both um, in the genre of Negro spiritual. Um, I'm sure you know the song. And these were recorded by the Tuskegee Institute Singers, which, you know, is a place rich and in Batwing, Victor, um, and African American history. I think this is quite Batwing. early. I mean, according to what I looked up, it's like 1916. That seems crazy. Maybe it's not. Maybe that was just the first version. I didn't really check the numbers carefully, but that should also sell, you know, for at least 10 Hopefully more like 20 or 30. Again, I have to do a little more research. Then there was um, sheet music. Nothing really super, I mean, sheet music books. Nothing really super great, but these are always, the style is super common with, um, it's the uh, Shermer's Library of Musical Classics. And you'll see these anywhere that has had a piano for a long time. <laughs> um, They've been printing and reprinting these for I don't know how many years with the same cover cover design. And um, so these two are both um, piano scales for practicing different kinds of scales and exercises for like speed and agility. And um, they don't go for a ton, but these two I can sell together for between 10 and 20 somewhere. I'll probably just put like 14 for the lot. Um, again, they're very common, but they're something you need often when you're a piano student. This is another one. This is um, something you would graduate to when you're still a beginner pianist, but you are starting to play, you know, quote unquote, real classical music, not the kind that's made easier. And, um, you know, this is also music that you probably know if you like to listen to classical. It's very, um, you know, it's played all the time. And it, it's for, it's nice music, so sell that too, probably another $10. Um, oh, and this one is interesting. This is an Oral Roberts uh, souvenir television songbook and photo album. This is from the 60s. And it has some, like, religious songs that I guess were on his show, and then all kinds of uh, key photos of Mr. Minister Roberts and his posse. Um, I think someone will want this. Maybe not, you know, the day I list it, but at some point, and again, somewhere between 10 and $20. Here's a cool book that is called The Animal Book. This is from the 20s, and it's got some um illustrations and it has this like huge print for kids which i kind of like the typesetting and you know it's a cool book i may sell this on ebay or i may sell it on etsy in my shop that um is for people making journals because often they'll cut up books like this to use the illustrations or even the text in um collages and Definitely the, the cover with its sort of like, you know, shabby chic look and it's nice bare. It's cloth binding, it's in rough shape, but it would be good for, you know, a shabby chic aesthetic journal. And then another book. You probably know this title. Um, this is a huge family Bible. It's from the 50s. And what I liked about it especially was that it has some really nice plates in it. Um, this is a page for writing in your people in your family who died in the wars. This, I think it's from like 54, so it's right after World War II. 
has some sort of nice faux medieval stuff going on, some illustrations. Yeah, 1954, the Holman Bible. It's New and Old Testaments, and it's actually got a lot of bells and whistles for a Bible. It has a lot of glossary type things that I'm sure have official names. And pictures and um, glosses and all kinds of stuff that I'll figure out the proper names for. Has whole big sections of sort of historical pictures. And there is one more family Bible section where somebody has written in on one page, but oh, here we go. On this marriage page, somebody filled in a few things, but the rest of it, you know, besides that, is empty. So somebody might want to still use this. I don't know. Or it's, you know, a big, nice Bible at any rate. So there's that, it weighs a ton. And then finally, from this haul, this is probably, I think, the best thing in the reseller sense. I got these curtains that are vintage Disney fabric. I'm gonna guess this is from the late 70s, but I'm not totally sure. There's three panels, and they are Donald Duck and uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey, and Daisy. Is that the mom? I don't really know their family <laughs> relationship. Are Donald and Daisy even married? I don't know. But it's all like ducks at school, basically. So there's, you know, math and geography and history. So great for a kid's room. And these are sewn into curtains with a simple um, pocket seams that could really go on any kind of rod. Or of course, you can just use this as fabric for whatever you want. Um, they're pretty big panels. I haven't measured them, but I think it's probably at least a wide yard and a half or two yards in each one. And they're in pretty good shape. There's, like you can tell they've been hanging in a window in some places, but overall they're really bright and not um, fuzzed up too much. So I think I might sell these as um, a, like I'll do one listing with three available and try for like 54-ish dollars a piece, see what happens. Um, so that way somebody could, you know, buy them as a pair for curtains or buy one panel for fabric or whatever. I'll think about it, I'll see what else is out there. But I do think vintage Disney fabric is gonna go pretty well, like $50 plus per panel. So that's like $150 and then, you know, all those books and records and toys and bits. So at least another 100, 150. And like I said at the beginning, I spent 15 for all of that. So tiny haul just from one sale, but it's kind of, I mean, that's super not exciting stuff, honestly, but it's kind of cool how you can um, just find these bread and butter bits as they call them and uh, turn them around. So that's all for today. Thanks, bye.